Hi everyone, Sandra from 4 again, here with your weekly tarot card reading for Monday, October 9th through October 15th, 2017. So this is going to be a very serious but very informative video this week. Um, if you have watched the, my two previous videos, you'll know that for the weekend of the horrible Las Vegas incident, I pulled the death card. And just to clarify, last week's reading was recorded approximately 10 hours prior to that time. And if you're interested in seeing the details on that, you can um, go on to that video for last week and you'll see that it was uploaded just before six o'clock in the morning. And the video behind me has daylight in it, so it was recorded the previous day. Now, um, in last week's video, I talked about that death card, and I talked about why people choose to exit early, and that some of you had already been to funerals um, the previous week, and that you were, some of you had been to funerals that weekend prior to Las Vegas. Um, and I want to talk about the actual cause of what is actually happening and why. Um, and it, one more thing, as it turns out, the reason I was picking up on, I pulled the death card really for that weekend, um, and that relates to Las Vegas, is because one of you actually has a best friend that lost a child in that tragic shooting, and God bless her soul. Um, I'm praying for your entire family, and I prayed for her soul for a peaceful and easy transition. Uh, it's super difficult. It's super emotional. I know for you, it is for me. I love Las Vegas, and I'm very saddened by what's happened. But I feel like I need to talk about the why. Um, and I haven't shared this information with too many people. Um, simply because they're not interested or they wouldn't believe the truth, okay? So a year and a half ago, I received very detailed, very specific information regarding what happens to put a person in a state to where they want to kill a whole bunch of people. The information that I received was that... Um, and some of you have already posted on Facebook that it was pure evil, and I saw a newspaper headline, it was pure evil. Okay, you have no idea how right you are because that's exactly what's happening. I'm talking full-blown demonic possession by these, pe these perpetrators that do this, these horrible monsters that actually do this. Um, and this was no exception. There is no exception. It ha and by the way, this energy has been, this phenomenon has been happening. It's been on the planet forever. But what's happening now is it's exacerbated. So we're seeing more of it. It's worse now. Um, the good news is it's not going to get any worse. It's as worse as it is now. It, it's going to stay that way for a while and then eventually dissipate. Okay, so... Where do I go from here? Um, so this is happening all over every day. This could be happening to someone that you know. Now, when I said full-blown possession, um, specifically full-blown demonic possession, there's all different types and levels of this happening. Um, what we saw in Las Vegas is the worst kind. It's the same kind that Hitler had. And when you think of the victims that Hitler chose, the Jewish people, Jewish people are God's chosen people. In this instance in Las Vegas, look who the victims were, country music fans, who the majority of them are religious, specifically Christian. They had just got done singing, God bless America. Okay, that's, that's not a random target. That is a very intentional target. This is a war of good versus evil. It appears as if evil is winning. However, that's not really the case. And it's not going to be the case from this point forward. We just think it is, and people are afraid. 
um, so that what we what we saw in Las Vegas, I mean, that was obviously the worst type, but there are all all different levels of this. So we may have a person in our life who's experiencing this at a lower level. In other words, they're not harming anyone or anything um, physically, but they're verbally abusive and they say very nasty things. They're very mean spirited. Um, and a lot of times it just comes on all of a sudden. You'll see a personality change where you think, wow, you know, that guy used to be so nice and now he's really nasty. Um, or they may say um, that they start to hear voices. So that's another indication that they're experiencing something like this. Now, especially if they say they're hearing nasty voices or disturbing voices, that's a sign. Um, if you notice that someone has become cruel to animals all of a sudden, that is also a sign. Okay, so there's, we've got we've got warning signs here that this is a problem. Um, now, in 2011, Doreen Virtue gave a message that everyone needed to protect themselves morning and night um, because she was given the specific heads up that something like this is going to happen, that it's going to get worse. And I listened to that information and that was the best advice that anyone could have given me at that time because I feel like I've avoided a lot of conflict and problems by protecting myself, protecting my family, protecting my home, my vehicles, um, your workplace, your workspace. Um, and there are different things that you can do. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I wanna talk a little bit about what you can do to avoid this type of thing from happening to you or your family anyone that you have influence over. Um, people who are alcoholics, drug abusers, they are prone to, um, they are compromised. And so that is a major red flag indicator that they could be exposed to this type of bad, evil energy, okay? And when I'm talking about drugs, I'm not necessarily talking about street drugs, hard street drugs. Um, I've seen people on prescription medication have this problem as well. And I'm not talking about, you know, your run of the mill blood pressure medication. I'm talking about sleep aids, prescription sleep aids and um, opiates specifically. Um, the other thing is watch your environment. Who are you hanging out with? Are you hanging out with a person who is negative, nasty towards you, towards other people, towards animals? Not, not a good option, okay? These beings can and generally are sexually transmitted. And the reason for that is because there is an energy exchange that takes place during intercourse at the base chakra level. So these beings can be transmitted. This is very important information. And this is why you shouldn't sleep with just anyone. You have to be cautious. You have to take precautions, okay? Um, and don't go see horror movies. The, even though we're talking about something that's very serious and scary, there are rules there there is an order to things in this universe and the basic rule is this energy cannot bother you if you are not afraid now it can approach you but it cannot proceed any further if you have no fear and i forget exactly how many times fear not is mentioned in the Bible or something related to that. I believe it's 30 something, but there's a, there's a specific reason for that. Okay. That's very good advice. Um, because fear is what triggers and, and essentially is the agreement of how this energy can take over a human being because they are fearful of it and things associated with it. Okay. Um, 
Now let's talk about what you can do to protect yourself. For my Catholic friends, St. Michael is a great start, otherwise known as Archangel Michael. Uh, you can call on him for protection morning and night, protection, like I said, on yourself, your physical body, your spirit, um, the members of your family, your home, your property. It's so important that the energy in your home and your property stay um, uplifted and that there is no compromise there because that's where you sleep. So that's when you're most vulnerable is during your um, sleep time. Okay, so we need to make sure that that is protected just as much as yourself, as your vehicles, as your workplace, okay? Um, there are a variety of different ways other than calling on Archangel Michael for protection. Um, you can Google Doreen Virtue's videos uh, for protection and prayers for protection, um, and you'll see a variety of information out there. I know she's on her latest kick about um, protecting yourself with the armor of God, and you just simply call on that. There are different um, energies of light that you can call on, the white light of the Holy Spirit. Some people say that works for them or it doesn't work. Um, they need more, the golden light of protection of the highest vibration. So these are all very helpful things um, that can protect you and your loved ones from this type of nasty energy. All right, so I'll go on more about that, but I've given you the basics of why and what you can do to prevent this for yourself and others. Um, and it's possible that you already know someone that's experiencing this right now in your life. Um, and if that's the case, you can send me a private message and we'll talk more about it. I typically don't um, clear people from that, although I have in the past. I'm not ruling it out. Uh, but I do know of someone who is very talented in what she does, and that's what she does for a living, so I can certainly refer you to. Um, and they don't, this is not like a modern-day exorcism. This is all remote work. They don't meet each other. She simply does the work remotely from her home. Okay. So the first card for this week, Monday, Tuesday, and these are all good cards, by the way, so you don't have to worry about that. The waiting game. So the waiting game says that patience is required. However, after a period of patience, your success is assured. So if things aren't happening at the rate in which you want them to happen, not to worry. Everything is in divine timing and order. It's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. But this means you will be successful. Okay. Card for midweek. It's the best card in the whole deck. The universe, which is the world in traditional tarot, it means that the universe is open to giving you that which you wish and that which you desire. You just have to be in gratitude for receiving it. All right, so be thankful for what you have because more goodies are on the way to you. And then the card for this weekend, I really like this card. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, recognition and reward. So this card, um, according to the book, means pat yourself on the back for a job well done. But I've also found that with, I pull this card with, from a lot of my clients. It means that there's a little extra bonus money coming to you. It's not huge, but it's a nice little surprise to help you pay for something. Okay, so that's great news too. And then the advice card for this week, I pulled two. The first one was Archangel Gabriel, and I get this card all the time. So Archangel Gabriel is here to tell you that you too have a message. Um, to spread with this world and it involves communication and uplifting people okay could be writing could be um, publicizing some information and then the second card goes right along with that akasha which means you too are a spiritual teacher and that you need to get your messages of healing um, and perhaps you're intuitive as well that you need to start giving readings of your own and i know i have a lot of you um, are in this field anyway, so you know, here's your sign to get started if you're not already started or get put yourself out there even more if you're only halfway out there doing this for a living, okay? All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you find my videos helpful, please like and share my videos and subscribe. It helps to support my business. I appreciate you. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.